The earning potential for engineers is one of the highest in the United States. Mid-career engineers like software engineers and petroleum engineers have average salaries in the $200,000 range. Now, what do engineer salaries look like coming out of college when compared to people graduating with non-engineering degrees? According to the National Association of Colleges and Employers, in 2019, the average college graduate landed a job with a starting salary of about $50,000 a year, and those in engineering fields landed a job with an average starting salary of $69,000. This means that engineering graduates were making about 27% more than the average college graduate. So why does this group of people get paid so much more than others? Because they all hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, so make sure you do too. All right, well, let's face it. When compared to other undergraduate college majors, engineers really have to take some of the toughest classes out there. Classes like differential equations and heat transfer are subjects that you can't really show up to a test and not study and do well on by just winging it. Most engineering courses require a lot of studying and a lot of dedication. I remember that when I was in college, most of the engineering students that were doing well in school didn't party anywhere near as much as the students pursuing other majors. To be honest with you, a lot of my crazy Friday nights in college involved staying with my friends in the engineering building and studying all night long and just ordering something yummy to eat. At the time, I remember there were some nights where I was really frustrated and I would think to myself, why did I pick this major? I want to have a life and I want to have fun too. Meanwhile, I knew that there were a ton of people going to the X or Y crazy college event that weekend and I just couldn't go because I had to study a lot for my test. But when I look back on it, I will say that the sacrifice was definitely worth it for the salaries that we engineers are compensated with. So why else are engineers paid so much? The skills you develop as an engineer are definitely in demand by so many industries out there. Getting an engineering degree doesn't exactly mean that you'll work for an engineering firm. There are many companies out there, for example, like financial firms that are looking to hire engineers because of their analytical and problem solving skills that they learned whether in school or in the industry. And as we move more and more businesses to a virtual environment, we need, for example, more software engineers. And in order to do this, the logistics of your business are definitely gonna change. So who better to take care of logistics and process improvements than an industrial engineer? So you get where I'm going with this, Engineers really are at the forefront of how our world as we know it is evolving. According to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, engineering jobs are projected to increase, with biomedical engineering being one of the highest projections of job increases. Their study shows an increase in jobs for biomedical engineers of 23% in a span of 10 years from 2014 to 2024. Now that sounds like an industry to get into if you're looking for job security. If you think about it, there are so many companies out there that would not survive without engineers. Imagine a car manufacturer without mechanical engineers or a national bank without software engineers. The point is there is so much demand for engineers in general and they're very valuable in our society because of the work they can do. And because their work is not something that just anybody without a degree can do, Hence why they get paid the big bucks. But with high pay comes high responsibility. And that is the responsibility of keeping up with ever evolving technology, which means that engineers never really stop learning. We not only learn in our day-to-day -day jobs, but we can also take courses that are offered by our companies or universities. We can get different certifications or licenses that can help us become experts in a specific focus area. And we often attend conferences and lectures to help grow and improve our skill sets. Engineers really are lifelong learners and they can take on so many different roles within a company. So here's a question for you. Do you think engineers should make as much as they make? Give me your opinion in the comments below. I hope you found this video informative. If you want to learn more about what engineers do, make sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.